When you get a package from Slovenia, you open it immediately because it could be the new AMD Special Edition Radeon 6000 GPU water block from EK. Or it could be the cat food I ordered. We're gonna find out. I am the Graying Tech, a gaming insider, and if you would like to learn how to improve your gaming performance, start now by clicking that subscribe button. Now, if this is what I think it is, it's a special edition, not limited edition, GPU water block from EKW. This was demonstrated during their big keynote when all of this was revealed, and here it is. Wonderful packaging, as you would expect. They do put these on retail shelves. You can pick these up at Micro Center, obviously EKWB.com as well. They ship internationally, hence why I was able to get it here in the United States. Now the general rule, if you can afford to upgrade to the next GPU for the price of getting a water block, then upgrade to that next GPU. So you don't wanna use this with the 6800 series. You would wanna use this with at least the 68 XT, if not the 6900. There we go. Well, I actually did manage to tear the box. Oops. Thermal pads. Obviously, you're gonna need thermal pads. You wanna put these onto your memory units in order to make sure that they are getting the proper thermal connectivity to both the back plate and the main water block plate, both of which are included in this kit. It runs about 250-ish dollars as well. Let's get everything out of the box. Oh, that is so lovely. Look at that back plate. Look at that. Let's try to get the right angle so you don't get so much glare. There you go. Lovely, lovely back plate. This is made of nickel. You can hear very solid metal. Back plates are actually becoming even more important to be able to get as much thermal energy out of your GPU, the entire GPU system as you possibly can. So having a good backplate as well as a good water block is going to be critical in getting those high overclocks that you've been seeing. Here's a closer up of the actual backplate. You can see some swirl marks from the machining process. If you are a stickler for detail, you could polish that out in theory and a very nice AMD Radeon logo and the EKW logo there as well. And on this side, you can see some machining marks. Uh, I'm gonna give them a pass on that though. I'm not going to be looking at the inside of my back plate. This right here is a leak test sticker. We're simply gonna remove that. And I'm gonna end up polishing that off of there. If you ever get sticker residue like this, Simply grab some isopropyl alcohol and that will help get that off. There are 14 individually addressable LEDs inside of this Radeon logo right here. That will give you plenty of color options that you can mess around with with the logo. Now, naturally, this is going to sit in your computer though, pointing down. Now, the thinness and the way that this is gonna fit in Project Red Star, probably means I'm still gonna be able to see those LEDs, but I do think it is rather interesting. The manufacturers continue to put the LEDs facing down instead of on the back plate itself, which is probably where it would be a little bit more useful. Some of the measurements for the block itself, you're looking at a one and a half slot. Some of the existing reference cards are two and a half up to three slots. So you're definitely gonna be saving some room inside of your case that can improve aesthetics, of course. For me, Though the most important measurements here are the width and the length of the card. So from the very edge of the card all the way to the other edge, you're looking at 133 millimeters. From the front edge to the back edge of the card, you're looking at 267 millimeters. But probably the most important measurement is actually this portion right here. The part of the block that is going to exceed where a normal graphics card would stop. Basically where you plug in the water fittings themselves. That measurement is, let's zero this out so it's as precise as I possibly can get. So you're looking at needing 25 additional millimeters from where a traditional card stops 
and the edge of your case. The way that you can use this bracket to also tell is to mock it up, put it basically where it would sit on the card, which if everything is aligned, it's actually sitting pretty flush. So what you could do is take the measurement from the actual edge of your existing PCIe spacers, measure to the outer edge of your case that way, so you know the exact distance that you have to play with. If it's 25 millimeters or more, you will be able to fit one of these guys in there. Looking at what is included, EK Tim Ectotherm Paste, it appears to be maybe about a milliliter inside of there. And you have the appropriate items to basically be able to secure both the back plate as well as the fittings to the block itself and the uh, caps that you will need to put on there too. So everything is included, ready to go, even a couple of Allen wrenches. Aesthetic wise, I've already commented on the machine marks. I'm okay with it. I would like to see probably a little bit better polishing going on that helps clear that off. So I think you can blast it with fire or something like that that can quickly remove those. Um, but that's not gonna be a big consideration for me and I'll tell you why towards the end of the video. This is a black palm acetel block itself and then the back plate itself is a nickel material. And then this little piece right here appears to be some type of light metal, maybe aluminum or something of that nature. Okay, using our trusty iFixit kit, available I think at iFixit.com. Definitely wanna support iFixit. They do a lot of stuff for your consumer rights and your right to be able to take stuff apart. There's also some fabulous guides on how to disassemble a lot of consumer electronic equipment up there. So this is the heart and soul of your water block. You can see, yeah, that is over 30 microfins inside of there. That is what is going to, wow, that is heavy. Listen to this. Wow. That is what is actually going to be cooling down your GPU. Now this is the piece that's going to force the water into those micro fins themselves once everything is down and secure. And then you have the nice rubber gasket there. On this side, you do have this nice radion plate here and we can pop that guy off as well. Again, I fix it. Now you might be wondering why I'm trying to take off all of these pieces of metal. Well, this is going to be painted. I'm going to end up painting this acetal as well as the back plate itself because I want it to match Project Red Star. And I'm going to probably end up using a toothpick very similar to this in order to trace all of these little pieces of red. This will probably end up being white, which is why I'm not necessarily as concerned with those machine marks. Now inside the back plate, as well as the block itself, you will see that it touches both the chokes, the VRM and the GPU itself. That means all of the items that are gonna be producing heat and need to be properly cooled to achieve those high, high performance targets are going to be properly cooled with the entire water block itself that gives you great potential for increased performance. So immediately, one of the things that I'm really liking about this assembly is how well it actually comes apart. Each of the components themselves has this capability. I just removed both the logo plate itself as well as the LED light bar, which is going to show your colors. So now I don't have to tape this up a whole bunch. That is premium quality. That's what you expect from EK. Again, this is going to go into Project Red Star. If you would like to catch up on the latest of that project, I do have a playlist right there.